Good evening guys, welcome back to the Whiskey Dude channel. Tonight I'm going to be reviewing uh, another whiskey in my collection, a whiskey from the Game of Thrones series, and uh, that whiskey tonight is the uh, House Greyjoy. We do not sew. And it's the Talisker Select Reserve Single Malt Scotch. So here it is, I'll hold it up so you can kind of see what the carton looks like. The um, their flag or their sickle is the uh, the Kraken. Oh yeah, the Kraken. So uh, let's uh, open it up here and see what we got. It's uh, brand new. Haven't opened it yet. Um, now that I'm watching the actual Game of Thrones um, TV show. I can better have a better appreciation for uh, you know these whiskeys, but um, I haven't come across House Greyjoy yet. I'm still in the very beginning season, so when I do, then I'll have a a better um, insight to this. But uh, let's open this up and uh, let's see how this stuff tastes. Now I have had Talisker, uh, just the standard. I think that's a ten year, pretty good. But uh, it'll be interesting to try this Talisker uh, Select Reserve. Woo! Pop goes the weasel. So, and then uh, it's saying here it's 45.8% uh, alcohol by, uh, by volume and it's 91.6 proof. So let me pour this out a little bit so we can do a little sampling. See how this stuff smells and tastes. Put the bottle up here so you can kind of see how it looks okay and I've also got my uh, RO water here uh, because we'll add water to it just to see if it changes anything you never know unless you try and that's uh, something that I always quote from Antonio Whiskey Quest I'll put him up here so you can view his Game of Thrones reviews also I have here right next to my water is my hazy IPA by St. Archer's Brewing Co hold it up here that's gonna be my palate cleanser um, before I add water to it so uh, actually I'm gonna take a little sip of that now because it smells so good oh it smells wonderful I gotta take a little sip cheers really tasty that's a delicious hazy IPA and as you can see why they call it hazy can't see through it hazy is like unfiltered basically that's what it means all right, so back to our whiskey review. Let's hold it up. Typical um, scotch whiskey color. It's just a typical amber golden color. Let's um, go in for the nose of it and see what we get. Well, it's very subtle, surprisingly. It's not like the Lagavulin where it like stung up my whole room, the whole room of like its smell. The smell of this is very subtle. Very similar smell to the Lagavulin though. Just more subtle. I I get the uh, the olives right out the gate, black olive. I get a little sweetness, maybe some honey, some type of spice maybe even. Hard to say exactly what that smell is. It's like a combination of things. I can smell the uh, the wood smell. So the barrel, I can smell the barrel. I can smell kind of the 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 hints and the the notes that come from the barrel. And there's even a, like a like a salty salt water kind of smell. It has a really um, pleasant smell for an Isla uh, whiskey. This Talisker's a uh, Isla uh, style Scotch whiskey, so it's got a very uh, distinct um, taste and smell to it. And if you're an Isla Scotch drinker, you would like this one, based on the smell so far. Uh, let's go for the sip. Cheers to everyone. It's incredibly smooth. 
I wonder what they mean by select reserve. Like, was this the typical 10 year that they hand chose a specific barrel for this Diageo series? Or is this like a special blend? Doesn't really say. Doesn't really say what this is, but um, let me describe the flavor of it to you. And just off that first sip, I'd say buy it. Tastes super good. It tastes great, um, but exactly what am I tasting? Uh, it's hard to say exactly. Hold on, so I'm gonna try it again here. Well, it's kind of got like a smoky flavor, but with uh, sweetness. Sweet, smoky. It reminds me like a barbecue almost. You got the smoker, you got your, you know, your sweet barbecue sauce, you know, but not that sweet, but I mean like it's kind of got that smoky grill sweetness to it. And then like the aftertaste is like, uh, just very savory, I guess. It's the easiest way you could say. It's like sweet, salty, smoky, campfire kind of taste. It's not spicy um, on the tongue. It's The finish is kind of medium. It's, it's not that long. It's, it's pretty short. And medium short, roughly. Um, it tastes tastes really good, though. It's very smooth. Different from the, the Talisker 10. Totally different. I like it. Mmm. Mmm. Hi, honey. Hey, we got a special guest. Lana, can you say hi to the camera? Very good. This is my daughter, Lana, and she wants to be a part of this review. So, welcome, Lana. Welcome to the Whiskey Dude channel. And, um, I'm talking about the Kraken. Yeah, you know the Kraken? That's a giant squid. Or octopus, whatever you want to call it. Pretty cool, huh? Do you like it? Yeah? No? You like the whiskey. She's definitely my daughter. She'd rather look at the whiskey than the carton. Very cool, huh? Is that daddy's water? Can you say to the camera? What is this? What is this? Daddy's water? Daddy's water. Daddy water. All right, I like it. These are all of daddy's waters, but yeah. The, uh, the taste, the overall taste of it is wonderful. And uh, now we're gonna add a little bit of water to it, see if we can change up some of the, the flavor profiles and the molecules. Let's add a drop of water. And while that's sitting and kind of mingling and airing out, we're gonna take a sip of our hazy because why not, you know? It's sitting here. Cheers to everyone. Cheers, Lena. Mmm. Smells so good. The flavor of that one, the St. Archer's, uh, it's kind of got like a grapefruit taste. It's a bit bitter. It's got kind of like a, a lemon grapefruit, uh, but like a sour grapefruit, not like a ruby red grapefruit. It's got a good taste. I think what's the, it's like 6.2% alcohol, not too bad. What do you think? You like that one better? I like it. You're so sweet. Now this has been sitting for a second. Just mix it around. Do our little whirlpool in the brewing terms. Brew it around and swirl it around. Oh shoot, don't splash it. Let's smell it now. Pretty same smell. Let's go for the taste. Let's see if that unlocked anything. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mmm. Oh, there she goes. It made it more subtle. And um, it's got, it actually tastes really good with the one drop of water. Makes a huge difference, Lana. Huge. Actually, I really enjoy it with the one drop of water. Made it more sweet. It's got um, a very sweet, oaky, kind of sweet and salty flavor. Super, super good. So, you know, highly recommended. But, um, yeah, hang on one second, guys. I think we have camera difficulty, maybe not. Hang on, two seconds.
Okay, sorry about that, I'm back. All right, so yeah, um, pretty much my review for this uh, Game of Thrones whiskey, um, Talisker, 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 sorry, I can't say their name, Select Reserve, it's dynamite. It tastes good with and without water. Um, if you can find it, buy it. If you can only settle for the 10 because you can't find anything else, get that one. So uh, five stars on this one. Um, cost roughly about 40 something dollars, right, Lena? And um, anyhow, uh, cheers to everyone. Hope you liked my review, my short review. And um, like and subscribe, Lena. That, don't touch the camera, Lena. Yeah, I know. Like and subscribe, guys. And uh, leave me some comments if you like this stuff or if you've tried it. And uh, catch me on the next review. Cheers. Have a wonderful night.